Recently got into ice fishing here, um, just this season, like two weeks ago, and don't have a whole lot. Um, and so I was trying to think of ways that I can kind of maximize my opportunities as far as, you know, punching more holes and tip ups and whatnot. I came to the conclusion that I want to build my own um, jaw jacker style. I'm gonna kind of put that together here and we're gonna go through the process. Um, I kind of have a plan in my head, but other than that, um, I'm pretty much making this up as I go. I have an idea of what I want it to look like in the end, so I'm just going to kind of see how that works and then try to make that product kind of as I'm going here. So I'm going to bring you guys along with the ride for the ride, see if I make some big mistakes, but everything I'm using is pretty inexpensive. And honestly, for me personally, I had all this stuff just kind of lying around. So if I can actually make this thing work. Um, I will have a jaw jacker for literally nothing. So, all right, so first, I think I'm gonna start, we're gonna use a mouse trap as um, kind of our trigger mechanism. Um, because I know, regardless of how this all comes together, I want this at the end of my piece of wood. I want that at the edge because I know that um, the string has basically gotta, you know, come running across you know, when this is set, got to run, come running across the tip of this and into the hole. I know for sure I want that right at the edge because with this, I'm going to um, pre-drill all of my holes just because I do know that like this wood is really crappy and cheap on these mouse traps. So I don't want to put a screw or anything like that through it and then the thing just splits because then this thing's going to be pretty much useless. Um, so I'm going to pre-drill all my holes through the mouse trap into the wood. So and I think I'm actually going to start that next. I'm going to get this mouse trap installed at the end of this beat, this board. So now the mouse trap is screwed in. I got one back here, and then I put one up on the front side. And I just offset them. I, you don't really need that much in here. Just something to make sure it holds in place and doesn't swivel back and forth. So you gotta get at least two in there. And then I'm going to get some of these nails. Uh, and these are finishing nails. Uh, and then so, with these nails, I'm actually gonna set them. So since I screwed on this side, I'm gonna put the nails on this side and you want them to be within that square of the set. So like on this specific um, mouse trap, I'll probably put them like right where that shark's mouth is. Um, and I'm gonna put them both there. And the reason I'm using two, and again, I'll explain this a little bit more later, but I'm using two um, just for some added strength. And then I'm also gonna pre-drill the hole for the nails just for the mouse trap, through the mouse trap. Once I get into the actual board, I'm not gonna drill anymore. And again, I just don't wanna split this cheap little wood here. So that's the next step that I'm gonna take.
All right, so I got the nails in. And um, I guess another thing that I didn't think of until I was almost just pounding these things in too far. Hopefully not my fingers, so. Trap set. You don't want them really, oh, much lower. The side's better. Than the bar. So when the trap's set, um, cause you're gonna be attaching some sort of string or metal wire. I'm gonna try to be using string on this and see how that holds up. Um, but you don't want it lower than the, the bar that's gonna snap, the little square. The reason that is, is you don't want the string or wire or whatever you end up using coming up off the nails while it's set and then it's flying off and kind of defeats the whole purpose. So you want it probably just a little bit higher so that way it, it wedges in there and basically it'll hold still. And once we get to the end of this, hopefully if I do this right, I'll be able to show you that, so. So the next step I'm gonna take, which I think um, is I'm gonna get this PVC on here. I'm gonna kind of build it to this specs for now. Um, so basically this piece kind of fit the handle in there. And you don't need the whole handle. Like if I have it out maybe halfway, that's fine. But I'm kind of using this and like the angle I'm gonna go at on this piece of wood um, based on this rod and the flexibility of the rod. Basically, I need to find out what angle I wanna set this PVC at, and also how far back on the wood. So I'm gonna set this thing in here, you know, like that, just to get an idea. And then I wanna see for the flex. So basically this, the tip of the rod, is gonna line up. It's gonna end up being towards the back of this mouse trap. So I gotta see, and you want it, you know, it's gonna come down pretty low. So I gotta see, kind of where that makes sense. I'm gonna eyeball basically the angle I need to cut this PVC and then the location. So I kind of have my location. Of course, I don't have anything to write with, so I'm just gonna mark it a little bit. Dig a little groove in here at the screw. Not gonna hurt anything. I'm just gonna eyeball, I guess, what angle I need to cut this thing at. All right, so let's just see how that stacks up. So I'm back here. Yeah, I think that's gonna work pretty good. So the next step then is have a pretty good idea of where I'm putting this thing. Um, and I just want to put a couple of screws through this into the plank um, just to make sure it holds in place nice. Um, I don't want to have it falling apart or anything like that while I'm out on the ice. So I think here, it's going to pretty much sit like that. I'm just going to put one screw, I think, through here and then one through the other side. And as you may have seen, um, I did end up putting an extra screw in there. It just seemed like things weren't very stable, um, but they seem pretty solid now. So basically I just did one on each side and then one in the middle here. That's kind of where we're sitting. What we're gonna need to do to um, set this so it stays down in like the bent position so it can set a hook is we need to get something through here. And I'm trying to think of how to do that without intruding on the line. And thinking this was the smallest um, little keychain hook. So I'll try to get this on there real quick and just see how it looks. Well, that was quick and easy. And that's actually doesn't seem too bad. There's still quite a decent amount of space in here. 
I don't know if that's easy to see or not, but it doesn't take up a lot of space basically. So then I got to get my string, which I think I'm gonna use paracord. And I still don't know if I'm gonna use um, the whole like chunk of paracord, but I'm gonna take out the filaments and um, just use those. So that was right there. This is like the length. If it ends up being a little bit longer or shorter, that should be fine. I'm no boy scout, so I, I, I kind of just <laughs> make up uh, just knots as I go. Um, I mean, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna to make this bigger, but I'm gonna just do a little knot like I'm just a little, I don't know, a regular knot, whatever the heck that's called. And then I'm gonna do it again, just to double it up. Yeah, I don't know. So now, I think we're pretty much at the point I wanna be. I think I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna set it. Basically, bring it down. I got my holes here from that knot. Lay it down over those screws. And I'm gonna bring this rat the trap back. So now the rod's basically pulling up on it, as is everything else. I'm gonna set the trap. Hopefully this thing doesn't fire off of my fingers. All right, so we're set. I'm actually really excited because I feel like it's actually gonna work. All right, so this is up close of its set. So I got set up in here. Um, so bent. I have this key ring here with this knot, the string, the paracord filaments. And so those come down and they actually tie to those, um, those two nail heads I did. And so when this thing sets, I want this string right here to release and just come straight up. I don't want it getting caught on heads of bigger nails. Like if they were the heads of these screws, I don't want it getting caught on that. So I use these little finishing nails and I use two of them for extra strength. Uh, but I use those finishing nails so that string just slides right off. <clears throat> So basically then I use that there and then I got the, the actual trap set. Let's see if we can move this into position. So let's say, let's say we got our fishing hole right here. Um, oh, see, I messed something up. So when this string comes down and it's going into the line, I was hoping that it would be basically on the top of this little cheese here, but it's not. That's bad. I need to do something and shorten this string so that I actually set up further down. So it's gonna wanna do that so then it'll actually be bent over I think I'm gonna try to do that I think I'm trying to shorten this up quite a bit um, and see if that solves my problem so let's try that all right we shorten the string we're gonna set it for round two I'm gonna put these over the um, those two nail heads and then bring this thing down now i'm just holding it down with my finger here we are going to set this it's gonna be awful to do um on the ice when my hands are cold i'm gonna kind of run it as if it's gonna work 
So you got the line from the fishing rod coming through here, out here. It's gonna dangle off just the edge of this. So now I'm going to tug on this end of the line down here as if a fish were biting it. Oh, it does work. Oh, just fish biting. So yeah, it went really quick again. So basically we got our string there like this. And when that thing snaps and, and triggers it, it's gonna come off like this. There's no head on these to get caught on. So. That's pretty much it. Um, it kind of came together like I was kind of hoping to in my head. Um, the only thing I didn't really consider is the actual length of the string and what it needed to be. I don't know. I'm excited to get it out and uh, get it on the waters. As of right now, I'm uh, pretty satisfied with it. So we'll see. We'll see if we can get, can't get it on the ice. Get you guys an example of hopefully it being successful out there.